Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk, Giordano Plastery. And today what I want to do is I want to point out some variations of color. And I get asked this a lot. In fact, I get probably one a week where people email me this and they say, gee, how can we fix it? I'll give you an example. Now, uh, what we have here is a cementitious wall. And all that means is uh, that it's maintenance free, number one, like a brick. And it's cementitious, meaning when it gets wet, it darkens. Now, I get a lot of folks, they email me a lot of pictures and they say, gee, every time it rains, this part stays the same color and this part darkens. I'll, I'll give you guys an idea why that happens. Okay, say I hit this right here. You see how that stucco darkens? Now, if I hit this area here, it doesn't darken. Why? Because when they did the trim here, they've got some of the darker green on this uh, uh, tan color. Actually, this is Miami peach. They got some of the green on it, so they painted it. And this is a pretty good example um, because you could see that even with the camera. It's 10 tints off, but usually it'll be about, well, you can't hardly see it and, unless it rains. And why do people do this? Of course, because you've got some of the trim paint on the stucco or like on a job we just did, half the job leaked, so they used the paint to, uh, well, bridge all the stucco and seal it. Now, there's three ways to fix this, guys, and uh, um, the last job we did, I was gonna show it, but there was too much staging in the way, and I couldn't really get an accurate view of what we wanted to express. So, three ways to fix this is, number one, Go ahead and paint the whole wall. That's the least expensive, and that's the fastest way. However, you lose your maintenance-free finish, and now you have a painted surface that every eight, eight to ten years you have to repaint. With a cementitious finish, that lasts for you know, 100 years. After about 30, it starts to lighten and darken and vary in color. But, but that's okay. It still stays on. Another way to fix that is like what we just did on a huge job. We pressure washed the entire front of the house. We applied a bonding agent. Then we put a cementitious finish over the entire house because now they have, again, their cementitious finish. It's maintenance free. And when it rains, the whole house will be uniform in color. It won't dry real weird where you see the patches like this. And lastly, you could fix it too with an acrylic finish. We pressure wash it, apply primer instead of a bonding agent, and then use an acrylic finish over the entire area. And that, that will be like a painted surface. It won't darken when it rains. So there's a lot of ways to do that. I'll tell you one little quick story. We did a wall in Oakland, uh, four stories high, about 200 feet long, and they wrote a bunch of letters all over it, big letters the size of, I mean, six foot. Uh, each letter was about six feet tall. You could see it on the freeway. And this guy spilled paint all over the entire wall. It was pretty much an eyesore. So what they did was, he got the exact color paint and he painted every paint splotch that he dripped. And the, the funny thing was, well, it wasn't funny to him, but it was to me, where this was 20 years ago, they painted all these paint splotches. Then they tore all the scaffold down. Every time it rained, the building, you'd see all that where he dripped paint. It looked ridiculous. But anyway, that's what happens when you paint and it hits a cementitious finish. So. Uh, we're getting ready to start a project, and I told these folks, gee, I'll show you exactly what I'm referring to because I've been, I was trying to explain this, uh, and this is a better illustration with the video. Anyhow, guys, my name is Kirk, Jason on the camera. We thank you guys for watching this simple explanation video. As usual, we'll see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching, and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.